This is Coast Modern, and you're listening to Recess with Spinelli. Woo! You are listening to Recess with Spinelli. WSPN, Saratoga, New York, Hoxton FM, London, England. And today we are here in the Upstate Concert Hall in Clifton Park, New York, with the new band from Los Angeles, California, the duo Coast Modern. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Thanks Thank you. Yeah. Now, from what I can tell, uh, it definitely seems that you guys are fairly new to the scene. So let's get uh, some of the basics. How and why did this project come to be? It's it's kind of been a long process, long time coming. We we met um, when we were working as songwriters, trying to get songs to the big pop stars of the world, and kind of got frustrated on that track, and just decided, hey, like we have we have some musical skills and we could put these to use for ourselves we could see what we can make just getting creative and getting crazy no boundaries so writing music for other people is that something that works out freelance wise or do you kind of work for a larger corporation type thing how, how, i don't even know how that system works it's a uh, freelance yeah. and it's on spec and um there's a lot of people competing to get cuts with the same uh little batch of of uh working pop stars yeah. yeah it's not a it's not a fun game unless you're winning it <laughs> how much of a written song typically goes into the final track for a top 40 singer or pop singer or whatever is it just a couple of beats or a larger portion a, a lot of the time the entire thing will be written and produced uh before the the artists mm-hmm. even puts their their golden voice atop it how easy is it or hard is it to kind of read somebody else another artist to try and figure out what you're going to produce for and what's going to work with that voice with that style because i assume depending on the artist you got to keep changing styles all the time yeah you do you do have to adapt um i mean it, it varies a lot it depends on what they're willing to give but it's all about making them feel comfortable so that that's on us like maybe hanging out for a half an hour like watching youtube videos or like just just messing around getting to know them and then everyone can kind of open up and be free and write some good songs yeah but we don't do that because we'd rather <laughs> we'd rather make tracks for ourselves because um and for listeners instead of thinking about what someone wants to sing about we think about what we want to say it's a lot makes the process a lot more streamlined and i think it creates a better product in the end so by not having to think about what somebody else wants you to say uh, what does that open as far as creative expression what does that allow you to do wild you can get you can write about things that other artists wouldn't touch because um you can you can delve into topics that aren't as commercial but because you're singing your heart out it makes it commercial so what would you say are some of those topics which are untouchable at the moment that you guys are touching on life death existence humanity relationship this is just the tip of the iceberg so, so what do most artists try and go for when they're hiring uh, a songwriter to write topics on the club the club Co- commercial business <laughs> sales propagating their own uh, rock star image a lot propagating their own look or brand rather than uh, propagating good vibes so what would you say is the brand of coast modern yeah we, we want to bring people together we want like a little little more substance like something something to think about we we like to say it's like a, a Trojan pinata, like it looks <laughs> it looks fuzzy and poppy on the outside, but on the inside there's if you dig deep enough there's like some some things to chew on, some things to think about. I think the only way to be relevant is to do what comes from deep inside you. You know everything's cyclical. Like even if it's not trendy now, like maybe your sound will hit a spot in the future. So you just have to ride it out. So so what were some of the experiences in writing for other people that you have taken away? into this project, Coast Modern. We, we learned how to collaborate, because that's a huge part of, of songwriting. You're, you're learning to be vulnerable with someone and just just write a song, like which is kind of a hard experience. Um, so I feel like we, we've, we've learned how to do that and can kind of speak a, a musical language or a, a vibe language that works in the studio. <laughs> Do you think it's difficult sometimes, though, to stand out from other bands of a certain genre or a certain era? If you're trying to sound different, you probably will fail. Mm-hmm. If you're doing what you, what comes naturally, you'll probably sound different. 
because everybody's so different. Now, when you guys are writing songs, uh, how do you know a song is working or not working? When do you know to like call it, take a break from it, and look back on it like a month later? When when we write a a song that's working, it usually comes together like really quickly, like probably within a few hours. So that's that's a good barometer. Like if it just flows easily and quickly, um, most of our songs that are out have have come that way. And and there's certainly a, a lot of times that songs don't come and we kind of put those aside, but that's all part of the process. Like there's going to be really bad days and there's going to be good days. If it's easy, if it feels fun, if it feels like it's flowing, then you know it's a good song. Now you guys uh, started this project around October and your first live show, I believe you said, was around March, mm-hmm. uh, right before South by Southwest. So what have been some of the transitions you've had to make from more of that studio setting to more of a live setting? I mean, it's not easy to party every night. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. We keep it tame because we're... we're we're not kids anymore, but um, I, I enjoy being on the road. I've been, I mean, even before me and Luke were working together, we were both producers and writers in the studio. I've been doing it for close to 10 years now, and so there was a disconnect between the music I was making and the people listening to it, so it feels great to get on the road and actually make eye contact and give high fives and uh, shoulder rubs to, to people who care about us and our, and our sound. Yeah, it's really cool to see the songs kind of take on a, a new life um, live and, you know, live drums, live bass. And it's, it's loud and there's people in there and they're, they're moving and singing along. Like, it's, it's like the songs can, can grow and um, morph in real time instead of just sit on a computer or something. It's, it's been great. Now, when you played your first show at South by Southwest, uh, was there anything that was going through your mind in particular? Or in particular? Yeah, embrace the chaos was the sage advice that was given to us right before we got on stage. Uh, a great gentleman by the name of Johnny Caps, who uh, has been working with us uh, to get records out um, for the last few months. He's with the label. Right before we went on stage, he was like, embrace the chaos. And I, I guess that kind of gave us um, a free pass to just go wild and not worry about anything effing up as long as we're having fun. Now, you guys have a couple of songs available for folks to check out. Will there be anything released in the future? Will, will there be multiple singles coming out or an album, an EP? What can folks uh, expect from you guys? We have three tracks out right now. There's lots of music coming. Uh, it gets weirder and funner as it goes. In, in maybe four weeks... You, you could call it a month, you could call it four <laughs> weeks, <laughs> but we're not exactly sure. We kind of try and uh, see when people are, are uh, really dying for a track before we drop one, mm. and they're getting close. <laughs> and lastly, for final thoughts, is there anything else that you guys would like to add? Anything you think we missed, or just anything about music that just makes you happy and makes you want to continue doing this as your career? Just just come to a show and hang out, experience experience live music. I think that's that's the best way. Or, you know, get get a song and twit us. Twit us. <laughs> twit us on Twitter, as they say. Because um, we love to hear from people and our, our fans are really smart and funny and it's it's awesome for us to see. So. Alrighty, thank you so much for your time, guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for having us. You've been listening to Recess with Spinelli, WSPN, Saratoga, New York, and Hoxton FM, London, England. And we've been speaking with the LA duo Coast Modern.